What's that in your hand, brother Kevin? Why? Glad you asked. It's the Kato Mod! Well, brothers and sisters, before I get into this, because I'm, I'm pretty pretty hopped up on this thing, but before I get into it, I'm going to go ahead and just squash some of the stuff that's been being asked, and I've, I've replied to it, but nobody seems to listen to the replies. Brother Dave is not coming back. Brother Dave is gone. He's in a far-off land. Uh, he's, he's not going to come back. So you've got me only. Oh, sadness envelops the YouTube community, but it's okay, because I'm stepping the game up, man, I'm doing mod reviews, I'm doing, I'm doing it all, I'm doing builds, I, I'm taking it up a notch, man, so let's jump right back into it, let's get started with this, bam, it's the Kato mod, that is correct, the Kato mod, I was super excited when I seen this come back out, I had been looking on the forums, I had been looking for a box mod, I had been looking for a box mod in specific detail to having the tank on the side I wanted one bad uh, I tried to purchase a box mod I got I got failed out of purchasing purchasing this box mod but it actually everything happens for a reason brothers and sisters and the reason was because I needed this thing right here uh, in my hand I have a uh, iPhone 5 right here this is the iPhone 5 sitting right up next to the uh, Kato. As you can tell, it's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit height-wise, a little bit smaller height-wise, a little bit, little bit smaller width-wise. Uh, a better, another reference, anybody that's ever seen an iTaste MVP 2.0 uh, with the most horrible slogan. You ready? You're gonna laugh at this. Most horrible sm slogan here. It says, Hang on, let me get it. Taste it. Love it. Taste it. Love it. What are you talking about? All right. This is the I Taste MVP. Put it right on the side of the Kato. I'm a little bit smaller than the Kato width-wise. Uh, just a little bit bigger than the I Taste. Um, but let me tell you what. This is so much better. A little weightier? Yes. Is it weightier than a mod? With a with a battery in it, brother Kevin, uh, it's about the same. I've got a Mirandis, brass Mirandis with an atomic on the top. Uh, this, the Kato mods loaded, full battery, full everything, man, and it's just the same. And when you pair this thing up with this fogger, it's amazing. It's amazing, man. Without further ado, do here. Let's jump right down in here, and we're gonna take a closer look because it's that good. Bam. When I first received the Kato mod, it came in this beautiful case, signed, Mr. Doug Yang, that is correct, signed by Kato himself. It also came with this Allen wrench, and it also came with this positive bottom spring. Let's open the case up. It sat in this case, just like so. Wow. And then let's pull it out. Here we have it up close. This is the Kato mod. Uh, we'll spin it around. You got Kato written right here on the front. It is really deep etching, very nice etching. It's got this like Phoenix on the back. I am number 241. And here is your 510 connection. The 510 connection, not floating, it's a uh, adjustable positive pin for your atomizer on the bottom. These two holes right here are your vent holes for your battery. These two Allen wrenches, you take those two Allen wrenches out, this whole bottom piece drops. And then up top, we have two more Allen wrenches. Those Allen wrenches take this top piece off. You have your button. Button's got a big old K on it. 
big old K on it. Is it for Brother Kevin? No, it's for Kato. Here's your lock ring. Very nicely knurled lock ring, might I add. This appears to be a brass pin on top and uh, throws very minimal. Take a peek down the barrel of the gun. And as you can see, that's my hand on the bottom. That is correct. That is your battery vent holes. That down there is your uh, spring for the positive. FYI, those are the people that are going to buy this that are uh, getting into it. Positive of your battery goes down. Your negative goes up. This top piece is stainless steel. This bottom polished stainless steel. This middle part is uh, aluminum. So let's go ahead and break it down. Let's take these out just a little bit more. Down wrenches. Bam. Comes out. So we got set the base down. You've got this piece of plastic in here. Really don't know what that is. I think it's just like Lexan. Looks like plexiglass almost. It's got these little holes in it. And then here's your spring. As you can see right there, that's the spring, and they give you the extra one to replace it. It looks to be copper. It might be brass, but it looks to be copper. And then if you look over here, there's not much to this, fellas. If you look over here, it is a brass post that comes up, and that is your positive pin that is connected down to your 510 connection. And that would be the inside barrel of your 510 connection. It's actually a stowaway cubby hole. You can hide all kinds of things in there. Uh, it also has this little piece of Delrin that sits on the on the switch down here that runs in between so you don't make contact into the uh, into the mod base. Assemble it, the battery vents right there, two Allen wrenches, they go through that and they sit right back on top, provided Allen key, we're gonna tighten these down have yet to take this top piece off because I know there's nothing to it. So here's your top connector where your where your uh, button rides. This is where your tank goes. Uh, stainless steel, okay, shiny. Here's your billet aluminum right here, milled aluminum. I don't know what kind of aluminum it is. Look down the barrel of the gun, and as we can see, there's the thing in the bottom, the spring. Yay. There's nothing to it, man. I mean, it's a mechanical mod. There's no regulation on the voltage. There's there's nothing on it, man. It's just, you put a battery in it, it's got a switch, the battery makes a connection, and, and you're vaping. I think this is something that deserves to be said about it. It's a great mod, and I love it. When you put your tank in here, these edges that are against this are actually kind of sharp. I, don't, I wouldn't say that you could go to a knife fight with them, but they're actually kind of sharp, man. That it is all in its glory, the Kato mod. Bam! Let's go back up top, and we're going to have a vape on her. Why not? We're back up top. It just performs, man. It, it's what, what is not to be expected of a non-regulated, just battery mechanical mod? It's it's gonna work unless there's something horribly horribly wrong with it. Let's let's just jump into this. Let's jump into pros and cons of it. What don't I like about this mod? Really nothing. I I, I mean I I really like everything about it. There I don't have something that I can say I don't. Ah, you know what? Here it is. You got a couple of ways of using this mod here. You know you can hold it like this in your hand and thumb button vape it, you know, that's good. Or you can do what I like to do, which is flip it around, let it sit in the hand, and finger push it. That's so delicious. Terrapin Vapor Blueberry Crunch, it's delicious. You got those two ways of vaping on this thing. But I'm going to go ahead and say these edges, these, these hard edges that are on the bottom, you could have you could have almost rounded them. You could have almost like rounded them a little bit more and made it a little ergonomic in the hand, uh, you know. But I mean, 
geez, dude, it fits right there in the hand. It's it's just a it's it's such a good mod. I really really in love with this thing. Like I said, doesn't fall over when you got it on the table. It's nice and sturdy. It's got a good heavy weight. You could definitely knock somebody out with it in a fight. Uh, you got the knife edges that are unsharp, that are that are super sharp that need to be filed down that you could take to the knife fight, and you could just slice people up with your Kato mod. Another con. It was quite expensive. It was quite expensive for a Kato mod. Uh, you're, you're talking somewhere along the lines. I paid. I went directly to Vape Profit, Vapor Profit, Vape Profit uh, that sells the Kato mod stuff, and I, I paid like two hundred fifteen dollars for it. No, I didn't get it for free. Do what? What's that? No, I didn't get it for free. No, I got to pay for all my stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then people tell me they'll send me stuff, and then they don't. Ah, what do you know? But I got to say, dude, I'm not sad that I paid $215 for it. Hell, I bought a $230 AR mod that I hated. I thought it was the bee's knees for a little while, but guess what? It turned out that it needed to be in the trash dump. I hated that thing. Uh, the voltage drop was horrible. Do I know what the voltage drop is on this? No, I don't. I don't have a voltage drop tester. I'm not worried about it. This isn't a cloud chasing mod. This is my tank mod, man. I mean, I'm not worried about it. If it was made for, you know, just the atomizer on the top and a dripping, sure. Voltage matters, man. Voltage drop does matter. It doesn't matter that this on me. Do they make, do, can, can I put a dripper on this? Actually, Kato is coming out with the, uh, with the secondary tube on here that's going to make it so you can put a dripper on it. I'll probably get it. I'm interested in it. I'll bite. I'm pro I like it. I'll try it. Uh, but other than that, dude, I got no quarrels with it. I really do like it. I like it a lot. Would I buy another one? I would buy another one. I really would. I mean, I wouldn't because I don't need another one, but I would buy another one if this one broke. I would try to find one, and that's what leads me to this. If you're interested in this mod, get a hold of me. You can either find me on, on uh, the Facebook page uh, be the easiest way. Find me on the Facebook page. Send me a message. Uh, also, all my convicts out there, Convicted Vapes, uh, we have a Convicted Vapes Facebook group. And a uh, bunch of cool guys in there, man. Shout out to all the admins and everybody that's out there with us. Uh, shout out. Get a hold of me on there uh, and say what's up. I can put you in touch with the guy that can make you have one of these in your hand. That's right. I can do it. Will it be autographed? I don't think it'll be autographed, Doug Yang. <laughs> uh, rub it in. Rub it in. As always, brothers and sisters, time's over. It's time Time up. It's, it's game over here. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook. Let's just make it happen. And, and, and when, you, when you get done doing that, you know, you can keep calm. And uh, vape on. All right, here we go.